Welcome back everyone, Robert Dempster here. So now we're going to go into a tool that I absolutely love. I love that 3D Coat has this tool and uh, it's far superior than anything that I've come against in any of the software and that's called Vox Hide. So we're going to get into this. I'm going to go straight into 3D Coat. I'm going to select Voxel Sculpting again and this time I'm going to select one of my standard primitives. So I'm going to select my cube. Again, that's going to go straight to our center. If your screen isn't blue, then that's because you haven't got this selected, this little cube here that toggles between the perspective and the orthographic. So it may look like this. I'm going to select that cube so I get back to my uh, blue screen and I'm going to zoom in again, hold right click to zoom in. And then I'm going to uh, select the middle cube here. Make sure it highlights yellow. That means it's selected and then I'm going to increase the size. You can also increase the size here if you wanted to, if you wanted to be very precise. For now, I'm just going to increase it. Okay, so I'm going to move this up above the grid and then I'm going to make sure this is set to add. I'm going to hit apply. So that's applied our objects. I'm going to select any of our tools here just to get rid of our primitives. And now we have our cube. So let's get into Vox Hide. When you select adjustments and go down to Vox Hide, we can select our tool by pressing E. And I'm going to select, so let's select this uh, vertex lasso here. So we've got these lines and points. If you select that, then we can use our Vox Hide. So it, it works exactly the same as the cutoff tool where we can select around here, double click, and that's gonna cut through. Okay, and I can do the same over here. Let's just make it a shape. Okay, and cut through. But the awesome thing is, is that if I select where I deleted and hold control and double click, it's going to bring it back. Yeah, so I could bring this whole selection back if I wanted to. So essentially, it hasn't cut off the voxels. It's just hit it. Yeah. So I could create a shape directly in the center here. Let's use the, yeah, let's use the rectangular tool. And that's gonna hide the center, yeah. And then if I hold control, hold left click and drag, I can bring areas back. How awesome is that? <laughs> or maybe it's just me, but I just think that's amazing. Especially when you come from something like Maya, uh, you'll see why this is a brilliant tool. So yeah, that's the Vox High tool. The thing I also love about this is if I select this here, and that's gonna create that Vox Hide, I can go up to Geometry here, and I can go to either Delete Hidden, so that's gonna delete what's there, and if you're using a lot of Vox Hide and you know that you're not gonna bring that selection back, you should delete Hidden because it's gonna make your object much smaller, and it's gonna save on memory much better. Okay, so if you go to Objectify Hidden, then it's going to make an object of what you hid. And you can see in the Vox tree, it's actually created two different objects there. So I can select that object, and let's say I move this inwards, and now we've got that effect. So cool. Really, really good. And we can double click on this if we wanted to change this. Let's just put 02, and maybe this one was 01. Okay, or come up with better names. <laughs> and then we can scale this if we wanted to. Yeah, we could use the cutoff tool. So now we're committed. We know that we just want to cut straight through this and cut through. So the possibilities are endless when you think about it. There's an awful lot that you can create just with these tools. If we wanted to add that symmetry, we could go to symmetry again. Let's do X axes. In fact, no, let's try, let's go through the Z axes and let's just see if we can cut through these. In fact, let's try the Y axes. I'm going to pick from the bounding box so it snaps right through the center and let's cut through. Okay, so there we go. We got that same cut that's going all the way through that object. Now I'm just selecting E and selecting that rectangular tool on cut off, and that's going to cut straight through. Now obviously the um, the height was different than the width, so we're not going to get the same effect at the top. 
But yeah, very cool. Very cool software. Uh, let's just see what else do we have. We have visibility invert hidden. Yes. Yeah. So if you do the same thing, let's just let's do a file new. And let's go back to Foxhall Sculpting, select our cube. And I'm going to apply that. If I go back to Vox, uh, Vox Hide, and I'm going to hide this selection here. Yes, that's cut through. If I press Geometry and uh, Invert Hidden, then it will hide everything that wasn't hidden there. Oh, always remember to plug in your laptop. <laughs> the amount of times I've done some work and then I forgot to have my ba uh, my uh, laptop on charge and you lose it. It's, it's not a good feeling. <laughs> so there's a tip. Keep your laptop charged. But yeah, now I can cut through this. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't really use this tool as much. It can be quite cool if you've selected, let's say, for example, you create a really complex uh, cutout here and you want the invert of it. Uh, in fact, I've just used the wrong tool. Oh, no, I did use Fox Hide. That's fine. So, yeah, if I create this complex shape and cut through it and then I want the invert of that, then, yeah, I can go to Geometry, Invert, Hidden. And now I just have that. So if you want a very specific shape, then you can just cut straight out of that object, much like clay. Yeah, and that's the great thing about vox, uh, voxel sculpting. It is like working with clay. And then I can duplicate this if I wanted to. So here we've got our new layer. So here we can add a layer, which means we can add different primitives. So I could add this box again and click apply. And now we've got two different objects yeah we can also delete it so I can delete that object I just made or I can duplicate it so maybe I want to duplicate this object I can hit this button and now I've duplicated it and I can move this into place yeah if I wanted to rotate this then I could select this little icon here and if I hold control then it's going to snap along the axes okay so now we've got two different objects on two different layers. Yeah, if I want to join them, then we can see there's this little shared icon here. If I hold that icon whilst holding shift and drag it to the one that's on top, it will merge those two layers together. So now it's just one object. Yeah. If I wanted to delete what was there, so let's say, for example, I took this object and I wanted to cut this out of this uh, this box. I'm just going to stretch that out slightly. So I'm going to move this in. If I move uh, where are we, where's our object? Let's just move this up to the top to make it a bit easier. And I will delete this one. If I move this directly on top whilst holding control, it will delete through the object. Okay, so holding shift is going to add the object. So now they're joined together. And holding control and dragging it on top is going to delete it. Again, a very handy tool to remember, to use. And you can create an awful lot. I have created an awful lot with just those simple tools. Yeah, just with the cutoff tool, the Vox Hide, and just by using standard primitives. So give it a go. Experiment with this. And uh, let's see what you can come up with. So in the next video, Again, it'll be a little bit more advanced and we're going to use these tools and see what we can create. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.